Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to show you a couple of cool things that you can do with your Google Slides and your refrigerator. Um, so the first thing, so actually, this is my final product. So if you see, I have, um, you know, a picture of me, my family. Um, so I just want to go over some fun things that you can do to really personalize your refrigerator. So the first thing I want to show you is how I actually you can take pictures that are squares and turn them into circles. So I want to show you how to do that. Um, what I'm going to select is insert. OK, I'm going to select insert image and I'm going to upload it from my drive. Um, so I just need to find the folder that I need. And let's see here. Once it loads. Okay, let's go into recent. I'll just use this picture. Okay, so I'm going to insert that photo. And as you can tell, this is a huge picture and it is a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up here to where it says crop image. But I'm going to come over here to where it says mask image. And when I click that button, it says shapes. And I want to select a circle. I said, oh, that's an oval. Just kidding. Well, I'll select the oval. And what I want to do, because I just want to focus on this orange symbol right here, I'm now going to use the crop image button. And I'm going to drag the little black line around my circle. Now, also for me, I'm using a mouse, which to me is e a little bit easier than using a mouse pad. Um, now, it's not perfect, and that's okay. I'm totally okay with that as long as you get the picture that I'm an EverFi Teacher Ambassador. So I'm just going to click this crop image button again, and there it is. I'll make it smaller, and I'll place it wherever I, you know, want to place it on my refrigerator. Okay. Now, what I did for my name was I just did insert and I went under word art, but I actually found something pretty cool that one of my eighth graders showed me this morning um, called flamingtext.com. So I'm just going to go on flame, oh, flamingtext.com. Okay, and so you can type in whatever you want. So I'll type in my name, Miss Gerga. I'm going to click Get Started. And look, there's 29 different pages of fonts. 29. My favorite one is like this Harry Potter one. That one's kind of cool. Um, so I can go through and I can see what's available. So where's the, there was one that I saw that I liked. I don't know where it went. Maybe it was on page one. Oh, here it is. Okay, I like this one. So I'm gonna click that and I could keep a background. I can have it without a background. So I really like this one. Ooh, never mind. I like this one. Ooh, la, la. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it and it's gonna tell you that uh, you need to get like premium. So just click next. And then what's going to happen, you're not buying anything, you're not doing anything. All you have to do is click on it and drag it up to where that Google slide is. And bam. Oh, now here's a problem. I don't want it to have that white background. Oh, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go to edit text. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So here's the key. If you don't want a background, please make sure you, you click the button that says transparent. And now let's try it. So I'm going to go right onto the Google slide and drop it. Here's my name. And I can like rotate it. I can make it even smaller. I can do whatever I want. I can't block the handle. Um, I can do whatever I want with it. Okay, so that is how to use the logo, or it's called, sorry, flaming text 
Um, and then another cool feature is this website called remove.bg. So if I had a picture of, I don't know, um, let's see, what kind of pictures do I have up here? Uh, let's go under, hmm, okay. I have a picture right here of, <laughs> I have a picture right here of my friend Derek, who's in seventh grade. And I want to insert him somewhere. So what happens is, here's the original. What the remove.bg does is it removes the background. And so now I just have Derek. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. And I'm going to go back to Google Slides and insert image. I'm going to upload from my computer and go under my downloads. There's a lot of pictures here. And we have this right here. There he is. Click open, and now I can put Derek right here on my refrigerator. <laughs> or I can put him up here on my refrigerator, wherever I want to put that picture, and now it has no background. So that's another thing that you can do. There's so, so many fun things you can do with this. I really want to see your creativity. And if you have any questions, please make sure you stop in at one of my office, or not at one, at the office hours from 149 to 225. And I will see you soon. Have a great day, everybody.